there. Well, in this video, we are talking about mindset. So I'm going to share with you what mindset actually is and how it's formed, why you should care about mindset if you really want to have the life and business that you desire. And then I'm going to share some tools and techniques so that when you are struggling with your mindset, you have some resources at your fingertips. Okay, so what is mindset? Well, it's a buzzword at the moment. Everybody is talking about it. And that's because it's crucial if you want to have the life and business that you deserve and desire. If you don't believe in yourself and you don't believe in what's possible, you're always going to be struggling, feeling overwhelmed and frustrated and wondering why, despite doing everything right, following all of the advice, you still don't have the life and business that, that you want. Now, what is mindset? Well, it's broken down into, into two things, really, at its simplest level. It's the thoughts and beliefs that are running through your mind. Now, that sounds simple enough, but we're going to separate that down again. Your thoughts and beliefs, they form and make up your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. Now, the subconscious mind is something which people say is 30,000 times more powerful than the conscious mind. So it's a real powerhouse. It is driving the show, whether we want it to or not. And all of that subconscious stuff, a very technical term, is formed when we're very, very young. So imagine you come into the world as a, a young baby. You are observing the world around you. You are watching. You are listening. You see how the people around you respond to things, what they say to each other, what they're saying to you. And all of those things become your truth because you're like a sponge at that young age. And everything up to six or seven, you are just taking in and you're making it your truth. Now you're taking all of those thoughts and beliefs about the world and what's possible into your teenage years, into your adult years. And it's impacting every area of your life and it's impacting all of your choices and your decisions. So it's a real driving force. Now this is what can happen. So you've got your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. Now you could go out there and say, I really want to, to be earning six figures a year. I want to be doing lots of public speaking in front of hundreds and thousands of people. But there could be something in your subconscious which makes you believe that either it's not possible, that it would be scary, that your survival would be threatened and it's never going to happen for you. And so... While it's great to have um, control over your conscious thoughts and to do things like affirmations and have mantras, if you don't work out what's going on in your subconscious, so those sneaky blocks, if you can't work out what they are, so identifying them and then releasing them, they are always going to drive the show. So it's really important that you can get to root cause, you can get to all of that old stuff and you can release it and let it go. Because here's the interesting thing. If you are like a sponge when you come into this world and you're taking in your surroundings, essentially you are taking on the thoughts, the values and the beliefs of the people around you. You haven't formed your own values and beliefs. You've just taken on that of your parents or your teachers, for example. So it's time for you to come up with your, your own truth. And um, that's where mastering your mindset is absolutely crucial. Okay, so you know what it is you know how it's formed, you know why it's important, because if you don't clear out the rubbish, you're not going to have the very things that you say you want. But how do you do that? Okay, so the first thing, which is absolutely critical, is to become more self-aware. Now, with this, you have to be really honest. And sometimes it's not always very pretty when you suddenly look at how you've been behaving, choices you've made and go, blimey, these aren't even my values. They're not even my beliefs. I've taken them on from my mum or from my dad or from my siblings. And you can see a whole line of choices that you've made in your life that that really weren't even, um, they weren't even coming from the, you know, the truth of who you are. So you can get really quite cross and angry about things like that. But I would say don't judge yourself. Just get really curious and um, be prepared to, you know, just to, to witness what happened, accept what happened, and then know that you can let it go and choose differently moving forward. OK, so self-awareness, honesty is absolutely crucial. No judgment. Just get curious about choices you've made, uh, things you've said, things you've done. But also you can use that moving forward. So you get triggered by something, you're about to stand on stage or someone offers you the opportunity to go and stand on stage and suddenly all these thoughts and beliefs start running through your mind. Just notice that. Isn't that interesting that I feel like I could be rejected? 
isn't that interesting that I think I'm going to fail? Don't beat yourself up. Just notice, witness what has come up and then we can use the tools and techniques I'm going to share in a moment to help you move through that. So honesty, self-awareness is massive here. And if you think, actually, do you know what? This is a really tough thing to do on my own. Buddy up with someone. Lean on your, you know, your colleagues, your friends. Just work out who you can trust to be completely open and honest with, to be vulnerable with, and, and who will honestly share maybe what they see in you that you can't see in yourself because we all have blind spots. So, um, you know, lean on other people who get you and who are like-minded. Okay, so you've been self-aware. Now, what can you do with this? Well, maybe you're not ready to reach out and lean on somebody else. Maybe you want to do even more work on this. So journal. So in your journal, just think about, you know, how do I feel? Write it out in your diary. This is how I'm feeling today. No judgment, just purge. Just get it out of your body onto the page and just let the words flow. Often you will find sneaky beliefs hidden in the words that you've just written on the page about what you're really feeling and what the fear is really about, because that's the critical thing. We want to get to root cause. We want to pull out those weeds so that you can finally step onto that stage or have that money or have that love in your life that you really, really crave. So journal. You can also use your journal for doing a gratitude practice. So what are you grateful for right now? There is nothing um, easier or more simple in terms of shifting your mindset than doing gratitude work because you cannot be uh, negative and pessimistic at the same time as expressing gratitude. You just can't. So what three things, keep it that simple, what three things are you really grateful for right now in your life? It could be running water. It could be food on the table. It could be your children. Whatever it might be, just express gratitude. The more gratitude you express the more will come to you. And here's a fun thing that I love to do, is using my journaling to express gratitude for my perfect ideal life. So I imagine it's already happened. So let's take this example again of speaking on stage. Imagine you have, um, you've been at an event, you are the keynote speaker, you have spoken to hundreds, maybe thousands of people, you've stepped off of the stage, you've had all the congratulations and the round of applause and you're now back in your hotel room and you're writing about your day. It's, I felt amazing, I felt confident, I was so well received. Really get into the energy and the feeling, the feeling is so crucial, of how it felt when you really stepped up and you had your ideal moment, your ideal life. It's really fun to do that and you can do it with every area of your life. Okay, so self-awareness, journaling, gratitude. You can use EFT. Now you all know that I'm an EFT practitioner and energy worker, and I use EFT because it's so simple. It's non-invasive, it's quick, and it's transformative. So use EFT when you notice a fear comes up. I'm terrified to step on that stage and speak in front of all those people because what if I make a total twit of myself? You can just tap on that, create a, a tapping script that helps you to bring up all of your fears, all of your doubts, and then let them go. The key thing is getting to the root cause. Okay, then you have meditation. Having a daily meditation practice will completely and utterly transform your life and your thinking. Because in those moments, it brings you back to yourself. You can connect with your inner wisdom, your inner truth, and it just makes you feel so calm and peaceful. And in those moments, you can trust in the flow of life, the process of life. But you can also get answers to your questions. So if you are thinking about uh, a new challenge, you're thinking about taking a risk, a choice that has to be made, and you really don't know how you feel about this, you just don't have clarity, go into meditation, ask the question and see what comes. So meditation, it changes your physical state, it will help you connect with your intuition, and it will also help to make your mindset much more positive. Because in those moments, you're connected to Uh, something really magical, yourself and something higher. And uh, you can't help but feel excited by the possibilities when you're in that place. Okay, so another thing for keeping your, your, um, your thoughts positive, your mindset in a really high vibrational place, is making sure that you focus on your own self care. Now, if you are super busy and you are running around at 100 miles an hour, but you're not nourishing you, you will feel depleted. There is only so much you can do 
there's only so long that you can continue going at 100 miles an hour before you burn out and crash. So your self-care is so important. It is not selfish to fill your cup up first before you help other people, whether that's children, your family, your partner or your clients. So what do you need? Think about your sleep, think about water, diet, meditation, exercise, having fun and being with friends. What do you need to fill up your cup so that you can put yourself out there in the world in a really positive way, knowing that you have loads to give because you are full? Okay, um, you can also do things like connect with inspiring people. Listen to inspiring people on podcasts, on YouTube. There's so much out there, so much free content. So just connect with and follow people who make you feel really good. They talk sense to you, they, um, their energy resonates for you and you just feel better because you've been in their presence or you've heard their voice. There's lots of different people out there. So just connect with those that are like-minded, who are going where you want to go, who have achieved what you want to achieve and just make you feel really good about yourself. And another thing to help you with your, your mindset, um, the final one we're talking about today, visualise. You know, people talk about vision boards, by all means, create a vision board, create a vision video. Um, allow yourself to daydream because that's what we're doing when we're, you know, when we're, we're daydreaming, we're visioning what we really want. So allow yourself to do all of that. All of these things will just shift your energetic vibration, they'll make you feel really good. They'll give you a more positive mindset so that you, you know, you come to that place of believing in yourself, believing in what's possible for your life. And um, you know, all of that means that you'll, you'll be more likely to take action, to move through fear, to move past your blocks, to stop self-sabotage, uh, stop procrastination, and you'll finally have the life you deserve and you desire. Okay, so there we go. That's mindset. You know what mindset is. You know how it's formed. You know why it's important for your life and business. And you've just got a few simple tools and techniques that you can use right now to help you with a to help you have a more positive mindset. So if you've got any questions, you know where to find me. I'm always happy to help with this kind of stuff because I find it fascinating. So reach out to me if you need me and um, I will look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.